hello guys welcome to another interesting video on agb tagger but another strategy so i'll just run and show you so this is how the model will look like once we have done the modeling completely so you can see how this agb tagger is waiting for the red part once we are having the third part this agb moves ahead and then he is going to drop the parts respectively based on the part type and their buffer assignment so the logic change in this module is that we are transferring three different part types at a single loop. So in a single loop, we'll transfer all three types of part to respective buffers. So this is how the model will look like at the end of the modeling we are doing. So stay tuned in understanding the problem statement which we will be following in order to create this type of model. So we will move now to the problem statement so this is the problem statement for our current assignment of agb tagger so we are going to create a qa with part arrival every two seconds with randomized part type from one to three we are going to transfer the material from qa to q1 2 and 3 respectively based on the part type we are going to create a tagger which will have three cards and which will be loaded by three type of part at a time so every card will have individual part type so first we'll have part type one another card will have part type two and the third card will have part type three this is what the problem statement third says that means there should not be any duplicate part at a time so each card will have a maximum capacity of part one and part type one should be unloaded to q1 part type of q2 and part type three to q3 this is what the problem statement states so what are the tasks we are going to do for creating this so we are going to create a tagger in the model then we are going to create a lot logic to load and unload the parts we are going to create a part type load strategy and unload strategy to and from the tagger card because we need to have uniform part mix here that is every card should have individual part type the tugger should wait till all the cards are filled we have already seen in the video of the modeling we played in the start of this session you might have saw that that tugger was waiting for the red part to come once we are having that red part in QA the tugger starts to run and then delivers the part to the respective queues so what are the learnings we are going to have from this assignment so we are going to learn how to create a dynamic process flow to create a tugger without using a gb object process flow you will not get this on any of the youtube channel been listed you are going to learn it only here so stay tuned and watch this video till end we are going to learn how to create a dynamic process flow to create load and unload tugger logic we are going to learn dynamic process flow creation for part creation at buffer QA. We are going to learn process flow objects like custom code, load and unload, run of flow, create object, move object and zone in this assignment. So stay tuned. So now we'll go back to our model and watch a glimpse of a process flow we have used in our model. So this is how the model looks like. This is how the tugger runs. It carries all three different part types at a time and then it delivers to respective individual stations one by one. So the process flow can be very tedious for such type of dynamic operations, but you will learn in this session how we can create a very dynamic process flow for such a complex operation. Only certain set of objects utilized can help you creating such a complex with a very easy process flow creation methodology. So this is the process flow glimpse for this assignment we are going to use, we are going to learn from this. We have already listed down the price details and the payment links for this assignment on our website that is beaverchannel.com. So this is our website beaverchannel.com and this is our home page you can visit for our training modules go into the services drag it down and in the training modules there are two training modules already listed here you can go down and visit our module 3 that is agb tagger with part type mix and here you will get 
all the payment details the upi and what are the prices we are offering a discount for you before 19th of march 2023 the video course will be 699 and for the model file you will require 1099 rupees we are going to create a video for you on understanding how to create the process flow and show on demand so if you want that video to be created please do let us know by commenting in the comment section of the video once you are done with the payment for video or model file do scroll down and click on this button for model access or for video access because the clicking of this button will send an approval to us and after verification of the payment we will give you the access to the model and video currently we do not have a video button for this because it is on demand basis if you show your demand or interest into it the button will be coming onto this website page so do take lot out of this courses and assignment you will not get this anywhere else so take maximum out of it if you have any queries or any issues related to it contact us from our contact us page so do visit this website regularly do share and subscribe to our channel we are going to bring you such interesting videos every week so till then stay safe stay simulating thank you